when you think about marketing, it's ADA, right? So it's attention, you have interest, desire, and awareness. The attention piece is that's, that's arguably the most important currency right now. So today we are going to talk about how HubSpot, Shopify, and Morning Brew, plus more companies, um, they're really kind of demonstrating to us where marketing is going. So I'm going to set the, the stage for this, and then um, Neil and I are going to talk about what we think about this in general. So Morning Brew, what they've been doing is they've kind of created a, a let's just call it a business where they help creators handle all the back office stuff, right? Where the creators, like, let's say Neil and I, we do this podcast, we're the creators, right? But we don't need to worry about, like, we actually, we do need to worry. We do worry about kind of um, invoicing, right? We do worry about kind of managing um, the contractors that we have that will help with the show notes and things like that. We do manage kind of the editing piece, right? And then also the videos, uh, chopping things up as well. So there's a lot of back office stuff that's being handled by the team. Um, but a lot of creators don't want to handle that, right? So that's Morning Brew kind of helping creators out. Now, HubSpot, actually, if you go to HubSpot.com slash creators, I believe, as of two, three days ago from this recording, they actually launched something where they're going to help not not just like the top podcast, but like all podcasts out there. Like they want to help creators um, level up their podcast. And they actually have a stat on that page showing that anybody that's been part of the HubSpot podcast network, they've grown their podcast by about 76%, right? So it seems like they're really wanting to attack that hard. But again, here's the trend again. They're going for creators. Now, Spotify recently just launched something actually this week too. Um, I think it's called Link link book i don't know something like that but what they basically do there is they help creators again create like a it's like a link tree almost right it's like a one page with all your stuff on it and they are again trying to help help creators right so the trend here is that like and i, I just spoke with the ceo of cameo today it's like all this stuff is very creator driven like you know marketing's getting harder right it's like really when you think about marketing it's ada right so it's attention right you have interest desire and awareness the attention piece is that's that's arguably the most important currency right now right so that's why a lot of these companies are going for um helping out these creators because they want to they know that's where the value is neil yeah if you even look at like TikTok and youtube and even facebook uh, i don't know if you knew this but a lot of them you know like i got hit up by facebook i didn't qualify but they'll even pay you to create content see the, Wait, all why, why didn't you qualify I didn't quote, they didn't choose me. My content was to uh, industry speak. Like they hit me up and they say, hey, we're interested in paying you for content. We need you to fill out this application. And I did. And they say, sorry, you didn't qualify. Your content's too specific. Like they, it, it's not mass appeal, right? So the big thing is, is though, a lot of these networks pay creators. And at the end of the day, it's because without the creators, you don't have the attention. And it's funny, like if you look at TV, if the content sucked, you wouldn't turn into that channel. If the content sucked on Netflix, no one would be subscribing to it. It's all about the content. It's And that's what the creators do. Um, and that's where the future is. So even in your business, you are you need creators for blog content, whether it's your own internal employees or external. You need creators for podcasting, for videos. All these people really help drive traffic because the better the content, the more viral it gets. And people talk in marketing, oh, you know, use this tactic and this strategy. Well, it all comes down to the content. If the content's amazing, the marketing is 10 times easier. You know, the value used to be these big TV networks because they controlled all the distribution. Now, arguably, and, and attention wasn't valued as much. Now, attention is arguably more valuable. And the distribu dis distribution is, is well, you can get that once you're producing great content, which is why Mr. Beast, he's got near 200 million people that follow him across all channels, right? It's just really all the time. It's just like, how can I make the best video? How can I make the best video? If you take that one step up, it's like, how can I make the best piece of content? Um, and that's a healthy framework to to follow there. Um, anything else from you, Neil? No, oh, I mean, no, that's Markingschool.io slash live. That's L-I-V-E. Um, Austin event happening April 25th to the 27th. Hope to see you there and we'll catch you later.